you didn't know, an election's only legitimate if a Democrat wins. And by the same token, a protest is only legitimate if it's being organized by left-wingers and Democrats. Sorry for the interruption. We'll get right back into this episode. But first, I have a quick message about your retirement from this episode's sponsor, Orion Metal Exchange. What will your savings in retirement look like once we've declared victory over the virus? Many Americans use this little-known IRS-qualified loophole that allows Americans to buy gold and silver with their retirement accounts. And the good guys at Orion Metal Exchange offer a no-fee transfer in as little as two days on most accounts. Call today and request a free investment kit below. Mention Drone Tech Politics and get a free one-ounce silver coin for qualified retirement account holders. Must be over 40 to qualify. Call 866-915-915. 5053 and get your free investment guide today. If there's one thing that proves that the DNC media has politicized this virus outbreak, it's the introduction of race into the narrative. I swear, from the beginning, all I heard was that this virus doesn't care about what political party you're a part of, but apparently it's racist and hates black people. Since the virus hates black people, well then that must mean that white people are somehow to blame. Over a Deadspin, which is a left-wing sports news outlet, self-hating white guy Chuck Motti claims that the protesters are illegally protesting and are somehow discredited because they're supposedly mostly white. As if being white somehow discredited credits the protest. This is a tactic that I've seen being used since at least the Obama administration, where the mostly white phrase was used regularly to discredit and attack the Tea Party protests. There aren't a lot of African American men at these events. <laughs> right. Have you ever felt uncomfortable? No. No. These are my people. Americans. The implication being if there's a protest with a bunch of white people, it's racist. They're even helping to spread fake flyers and fake pictures of fake protesters in order to damage the movement. From the article, white wingers can hold up upside down flags, break the law, and endanger lives but get viewed as patriots. When black people peacefully and legally protest, they are unpatriotic, subversive sons of bitches. And this double standard has long preceded Donald Trump. The article goes on, but this quote sums it up nicely. White working protesters bad, super rich, lying, victimized asshats good. The main thing I want to address here is his claims that these protesters are somehow breaking the law or endangering lives. I reached out to Mr. Mariano to find out why he's accusing these people of breaking the law when there's no evidence they have, but he hasn't responded yet. I will say though, he has responded to other questions I've asked him. I never once heard anybody accuse people going to the grocery store of endangering lives. And come to think of it, I'm not a scientist or a doctor, but I'm pretty sure that being in an enclosed space with 100 people is a hell of a lot more dangerous than being around 100 people in an open air area. These people are defending the Constitution and their livelihoods. So yes, they are patriots. Kaepernick, on the other hand, is a washed up millionaire who spreads misinformation with a highly publicized protest with the full backing of the mass media in Hollywood, who then claim anybody who criticizes Kaepernick is a racist. Nobody in the media ever questions Kaepernick's claims, even though they're highly dubious and in most cases utter fabrications. I mean, what I said was I agree with the investment in education. Uh, I also agree with the investment in free universal health care, um, as well as the involvement in hand, uh, helping end apartheid in South Africa. Double standards indeed. And what does being white have to do with anything? So what if the majority of protesters are white? The United States is a majority white, so it stands to reason that any protest is gonna be a majority white. Well, that is except for BLM, where a majority of the protesters are black, but I've never heard anybody in the media suggest that movement is discredited because they're mostly black. The women's marches were mostly white, but of course, not a problem when you're white and pushing the left's agenda. I don't wanna spend a bunch of time on this point because I've spent a lot of time in the past talking about it, but the media has been discredited Crediting opposition protests as mostly white since at least the Obama years. Another tactic is to paint the protests as being small and not representative of the majority of the country. For example, this taxpayer funded piece of propaganda from NPR where they claim the rallies are sparsely attended, which flies in the face of reality when you do even the slightest bit of digging. One thing's for sure, they're definitely inspiring some murderous hatred in their base. Take this article, claiming that the protests aren't grassroots, thereby discrediting them. Of course, Democrat protests and rallies are also organized by these same kind of groups. The Women's March, for example, 
anything but grassroots, but fully supported and promoted by the same people criticizing the anti-lockdown protesters. Once again, a standard only used against their opposition. That's not what particularly interests me about this article. What interests me are the comments which range from insane to violently insane. People protesting for our constitutional rights and the ability to feed their families? Bring in the military and gun them all down. Since these people are putting society at large in jeopardy by exposing themselves and anyone with whom they come into contact to the virus and since some of these idiots see fit to block ambulances from getting to the hospitals i say get out the national guard and have every last protester shot to death these nitwits have no right to put others in jeopardy we are in a national emergency and the authorities have to clamp down on such dangerous displays as ruthlessly as possible I'm not going to excuse anybody blocking an ambulance, but as we all know, blocking traffic is a staple of left-wing protests. CNN is even out staging fake protests by nurses and blocking traffic. It's definitely not. Oh, oh, they're staging. I'm glad I got this. A stage, a stage media op. Look at that. Staged on Facebook Live. Don't publish it in your paper. Folks, I understand this is just some guy on the internet, but he's getting a lot of support from other users and get a load of this guy who comes in as the voice of reason. Quote, I don't think they should be shot for the moment. This is America. There are remnants of the rule of law. I do think they should be put in jail until trial. If they die of COVID while waiting on trial, I would not be sad. They are a danger and do need to be locked up until this is over. Are we really to believe these sociopaths aren't going to the grocery store to feed themselves, thereby endangering lives? Of course they are, but as we all know, it's different when they do it. The truth is, comment sections are toxic no matter where you go, but the sentiment I see being expressed in this one are becoming more and more mainstream. The only reason these people want to mass murder their fellow Americans is because they disagree with them politically. The coronavirus just gives them the rationalization that they need. Mark my words, this won't end well if we stay on this current path and I don't see us coming off this current path. That's all I have for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you want to support this channel, you can do so on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.